Both Number teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Demon Deacons on this have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. Two-yard gain on the quarterback keeper. And there's not much he could do to get away from the junior safety on that play. pressure like that the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage he got away with one right there he's very fortunate next time he should just throw it away out of bounds from their own 27 yard line it's third down going deep almost picked off hey that's a heads up play there by the defender get those hands up and something good may just happen Excellent punt. Gets out to about the 31. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He scrambled. They'll bring him down at the 32-yard line. That brings, that brings up second, second and nine. nine. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 32-yard line. Hey, don't the 48 right now. Let's go. No chance. Go ahead. It's it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's pushed out of bounds. The 47-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. From the 47-yard line, first down. Scrambling around, and they get the sack. What a really good call here by the call defense coordinator. Perfect time to dial up the blitz. The blitz didn't get home, but it did free up a defense alignment to get to the quarterback to come up with that sack. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision making. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Cavalry's coming. Throws to the tight end, and that ball's incomplete. Number 49 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. He might have a chance. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a team of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Hey, kill, kill, kill! He goes out of bounds at the 28. Taken down around the 27-yard line. 
He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. He's on the run, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 36-yard line, second down. Three down, three down. Hey, look for Dog, it. Four. Yeah. He chucks it downfield. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Hey, alert 48. Hey, go back to 48 right now. Let's go. Red, two, three, nine. I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in into the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Got to give some applause to the defense. They really came out playing strong today. Well, you know better than me, Brad. This college football game is about emotion. And to be able to play great defense in the college game, you've got to come out and play with your hair on fire. We've seen that from both of these defenses so far. This is a fun game, and I think I want to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. They make the stop at the 39. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it second and six. Check time! Quick strike to the receiver, and down he goes, right around the 46-yard line. That makes it 33. Dog, kill him! Quick pass, knocked out of bounds, around the 42-yard line. Great effort here by the wideout to secure the ball and pick up some extra yardage. That's a great tackle at the 34-yard line. That makes it second and two. Green The handbag picks up a yard. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Taken down at the 33. He's really quick with his lateral movement, especially for a guy this big. He got to the ball carrier before he could get out of the backfield. Defense stacked in tight here. Red two, orange three. Tackle made around the 36-yard line. I'm not going to fault that decision. It was definitely a first down that they could have picked up. You want to be aggressive early on, even if it doesn't always work out. I can't argue the play call. The defense just did their job by standing their ground. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. And he carries the ball for a nice game. We played one quarter. Still no score.
Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Red two, blue four. Gets out to a round of 48. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. by the quarterback to pitch the ball, and it got him a first down. First and 10, ball on the 28. And he's level at the 27. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Now and they need to get it to the 18. And they got him. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Connecticut could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and he nails the long field goal. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Hand off, and he's met immediately. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. Second and 14. Ball on their own 21. Green nine, green nine. Green nine. Go. He gets rid of this one. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Taken down at the 47. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Connecticut holds a field goal lead. Toss. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 32-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 32. And he's going to come up with a sack. 
Loss of seven yards on the play. That'll, That'll make, make it, it second, second and long. long. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Hey, alert 48. Alert. Hey, we're going to mic the 48 right now. Let's go. Dog four. Here go. Here's an opening. Brought down at the 30. That's a deep nine on the way. That'll bring up third and eight. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike 41. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Slings it, and he's tackled right away from the 19-yard line. First down. I like it. They're not afraid to try this defense over the middle. The quarterback saw man coverage and gave his receiver a chance to make a play. They picked up the first down. I wouldn't be surprised to see them come back to that play. The Huskies call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Go four! Go! The 10. Touchdown, UConn! Well-designed play to get the half back into the end zone. Hey, for this guy, it doesn't matter how it's gone up. He can make his own play as he goes along. That was a nice run. He hits the PAT. A six play, 47 yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Brad, not only did they put points up on the board, but I think it's the way they did it. That could be demoralizing for defense. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. the 27 yard line. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 27. Go for And he is drilled at the 32. Gaining five on the I'm coming after you, 25. I'm coming after you, 25. Here I come. Moves in the pass and steps out. Gain of six on the play. First down. From their own 38 yard line. First down. It's going to be a long day, offense. It's going to be a long day. Go Goes into the halfback on the screen. And he's tackled at the 34. Wake Forest is going to use their first time out of the half here. Complete and he's hit right away. Call it a game of seven yards. That makes it 37. Check, check. Dancer, dancer. Move four. Under pressure. And he just gets rid of it. That's going to bring up fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. These special teams have done it before, blocking punch. It looks like they're coming after this one. And this one is a beauty. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The Huskies took a while to get their offensive engine running. That baby's running smooth right now. You know, the offensive coordinator told us this week that they sometimes will start off a little bit slow because they're just kind of throwing out the different plays and formations. And then once they get a feel for how the defense is playing them, then they feel more confident that they can attack. And that's what we've seen so far today. Complete. He's got room. He's tackled at the 49-yard line. They come out at an empty backfield. And they push him out at the 49. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 49-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Pressure coming. 
This quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. He steps on at the 46. He doesn't want a touchback here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. Here's the... Nope, they snap into the upback. Huge play for the defense. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll bring him down at the 45. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Wake Forest is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Tackle at the 36-yard line. Dancer, dancer. That makes it first and ten. Check, check. Dancer, dancer. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, and somehow he's able to throw the ball away. So with a half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. It has the distance, and it's good. Great snap and a perfect hold, and he just had an awesome follow-through. Everything went right there on that long field goal. 10-3. UConn. With only a few ticks left on the clock before halftime, I would expect they'll just quick kick this one. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Connecticut is up seven. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. Low scoring first half of play, but a close game. 10-3, Husky. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Going long. The 30 to the 20 to the 10 and a huge touchdown play nicely designed play to the wide receiver and it got him six you said it brad in a good time to call it i tip my hat to the offensive coordinator and doesn't it always seem like he just finds a way to get open Tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. the stop at the 23-yard line. We'll give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. It's second and 12. Ball on the 23-yard line. Black five. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And down he goes, around the 30-yard line. Pick up of about seven that time on the screenplay. That'll bring up 
fourth and five. They've got ten guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And he shoved out of bounds around the 32-yard line. The Huskies aren't easing back, that's for sure. They're not content to sit on the lead they had. No, I think they're continuing to go out and execute, try to extend this lead, and just playing overall much better here in the second half. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. So much of the passing game is about timing between the quarterback and his wide receiver. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. Rifles it right side. Caught sideline, and he stays in. Intercepted. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Dumps it out left. He's got the fullback. He's taken down around the 43-yard line. One yard on the play. That brings up third and ten. Five yard line. That's a team on the play. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Two down, two down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, go back to the two. And he makes it out to about the 34 yard line. Defense stiffens on fourth down, and the ball will change hands. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. He knows how to run. He gets hit out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. the 49-yard line. Second down. Nice run there. Black Hill kill. Black five. Two. Fifteen. Check. Check. Dancer. Dancer. Go. And this one's going to get intercepted. It's first and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. He gets out to about the 37 yard line. by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. And he's taken down at the 37.
hit as he threw, and he completes it. And he tackles him hard at the 40-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That brings us fourth and seven. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now here comes the offense, and you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Runs it left for a decent game. That makes it seven and six. Third and eight. Ball on the 22. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into cover. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Oh, excellent punt. Brought down at the 33-yard line. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. He fights forward to about the 36. Call it a gain of three yards. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on the 36. Five wide. Yellow three. Yellow three. Passes to the left, and it's going the other way. Brad, not only a huge interception to get the football back and maybe have a chance to get back into this game, but this could really change momentum. You can see the players and how they're responding down there on the sideline about how excited they are to get the football back and have a chance to put points on the board. He fights forward to about the 43. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. 17-3, Husky. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. First down grab by the receiver. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. The 10. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. And he converts the extra point. It was a quick three-play, 47-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Wake Forest is ready to kick it away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Connecticut is up by a touchdown. Nice run up the middle. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He 
could be that the offensive coordinator is trying to lure the secondary in to play more press coverage. And then they'll try to take advantage by going deep. Those safeties better be ready. here by the guys up front, and they are really starting to work hard in the trenches. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47. Nice run, and he's brought down. to go. Ball on the 43. yards and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback second and 13 coming up here ball on the 46 less than three minutes in the game check check dancer dancer go So that took a perfectly timed, hard hit to knock it free. Strong defense to deny the completion. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And he is drilled at the 43. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, Really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive lineman have after that. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Wake Forest's coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation. And there's nothing better than having a quarterback you have confidence in in these kind of situations. You know he's going to make the right read. He's going to give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. And they're going to have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game. Runs with it, and he's got room. Tackle around the 34-yard line. That's a team of 14 yards. First down. Red two, blue four, blue four. Go. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he's leveled at the 46. That makes it first and ten. And he's knocked down immediately after the catch. Game 13 on the play. First down. From the 33-yard line, it's first down. Just under two minutes in the game. Dog four. Blue 20. Motion, motion. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Number 33 makes the tackle at the 27 yard line. That brings him second and five. Red two! 
When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. The 10, the 5. That's a great tackle at the two-yard line. That makes it first and goal. They'll bring him down right around the four-yard line. The option is all about timing, and on that play, the timing was just off. That's going to happen sometimes. We've got second and goal. Four yards out. Let's go, defense. Let's defense go, stacked in tight Thank here. Three, eight. Go. And he has it on the corner. Touchdown, Demon Deacons.
Penalty Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. They didn't snap the ball in time. Delayed Delay game, game. Offense. offense. Under a minute left. And he adds the extra point. Just under a minute left in the fourth quarter, and this game hasn't failed to disappoint. The score is tied up at 17. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. you got to hurry here, but you don't want to rush things and make a critical mistake. This is what it all comes down to, right? This is why we love this game. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Seven yards there. That's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow three. Yellow three. Here's a quick throw. And got him! And they finally push him out at the 35-yard line. <laughs> Folks, we're either going to see victory with this field goal or overtime. Here we go. The kick is up, and it's good! If they field the kick here, a touchdown return is their only chance at victory. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. late in the fourth quarter in a one possession game and poise is what it's all about here who's going to have it and who won't and it all comes down to this one last chance to throw one up and see if somebody can bring it down and win the game and the ball game's over the Huskies get the win 20 to 17. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.